Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Social Butterflies. How are you all today? This is LaShonda Hoffman. I'm your promotion coach and I'm here to help you learn how to be consistent. My hair is going to be driving me with your promotion. I'm excited to be back. It's been a while since I've been on Periscope. Had to take it off my, my phone for a little while. I took a break and reevaluated if I wanted to continue or not. And I had a few people tell me they missed me on here. And so I decided to come back and share some information. And so I am back. I'm excited to talk about my book again. Building Online Relationships, One Reader at a Time. It's all about getting yourself out there in front of the readers. And this book teaches you how to do that. It shows you step by step how you can start building relationships with your readers. Okay, so today I am going to be talking about are you engaging your customers or readers? Um, that was something I talked about today. I do a marketing um, message on Mondays and I share it with a couple of groups that I'm on. And so I wanted to come in to be my first Periscope for today is talk about that. Um, social media is a great place to network and meet different people and engage. A lot of people share information, but they're not engaging. And they don't understand that it's a two-way system, you know. You give out stuff and then you talk to people and they come back and talk to you. And so this, I'm going to be offering a couple of tips to get you out there to, so you can start talking to people and stuff. And so one of the things that um, I've been sharing with my clients is to take 15 minutes each day to promote. And I know you're thinking 15 minutes, that's not a lot of time, but hello, how are you doing? And so you, um, you know, 15 minutes is it's enough to get you started. I want to get you started because a lot of people don't get started with their promotion. They put it aside, they, especially if you're on a deadline, you're doing writing and stuff and you're getting stuff out there. Or maybe you're a business owner and you have so much other things to do. Promotion is the last thing that you want to do. But promotion goes hand in hand with with your running your business writing a book is right is running your business and so you need to be running your business and you need to be promoting so you can meet new people if you're not meeting people then you're not selling you're not selling because you're not meeting people and so um i want you to learn a little bit about how to use social media to meet people to engage with them and if you take 15 minutes every day just dedicate 15 minutes every day you can show do 15 minutes different times, maybe in the morning, maybe in the afternoon, or maybe in the evenings like right now, you know, to get out there and talk to your customers, talk to your readers and see what they're up to. So your first thing that I suggest is ask questions. Each morning I start my day, I get on Facebook. Yes, I'm a Facebook person. I get on Facebook and I, you know, give out a little tidbit about what I'm doing today. And then I ask a question. And um, then I come back throughout the day and see if anybody's engaging with me. Sometimes I might get some people to respond. Sometimes I don't. You know, it just depends on the topic. And it's so weird how a question you think nobody would answer or anything about, somebody comes back and answers. And they've got a whole bunch of feedback on it. You know, I, um, my last question I put out was about Alicia Keys put out, um, somebody wrote an article about Alicia Keys and her saying she wanted to start a revolution of no makeup. And so I put down, I, I, you know, put down there about no makeup, you know, and so people, people want to talk about different things. They have different topics that they like. And so they'll pop in and, you know, and answer your questions about different things. Um, so definitely try a question. That's something that you can try every day and see if you get any engagement that way, especially if you're on your, um, a lot of people say their fan page doesn't get a lot of interaction. And so if you're asking questions, you just, you, it's going to take a while. But if you go in there and ask some questions, you can get some type of feedback back. Um, and sometimes the questions will give you more topics that you can talk about later. You know, and so you want to um, get your stuff out there and get started. I, I, I'm back on Periscope. You know how I know? Because I get to block somebody today. I just blocked the dean back. So <laughs> let's go on to number two. Um, motivational quotes of post. Of course, my phone rings. It never rings since I get on 
on here. So motivational quotes or posts are another way that you can get engagement. I love posting uh, motivational quotes about different things. I try to find stuff on dreams. Um, I try to find stuff on writing, different things that inspire me and how hopefully it will inspire someone else. And then sometimes I just write a post about me, what's going on in my life and sharing what's going on, my experiences that I have. You know, I do a lot of uh, talking about fears. Um, fears is what stopped me from writing for many years. And so I share my experiences with that. And every time I post uh, uh, anything about me and my fears, somebody comes back and talks to me about them and has say that they're going through that. Oh, Lord, I, I was the same way. You know, something to talk about what's going on with them with the fears. And so motivational quotes are posts that inspire other people are a great way to get some engagement going. Um, number three is books. Yes, I am a book person. Yes, I talk about books all the time. But books are a great way to get some engagement going on your pages. I love talking about books. I love, I can put a picture of a book on there and it would start people talking. You know, I'll go, oh, this is this cover great people talk about it. This month, last month, I talked about uh, Kindred by Octavia Butler. I'm a little late to the Octavia Butler scene. Um, I'm, I did a workshop, um, a webinar that somebody did on interviews about her. And um, I was like, wow, how did I miss this amazing lady? Well, she wrote science fiction, so I wasn't really reading science fiction back then. And so that's how I missed her. But I'm, I'm, I, Broadened my experience and try, decided, hello, how you doing? <laughs> and so um, I decided to tr check her out and I read her book, Kindred. Oh my gosh, everybody and their mom read Kindred. I didn't know that. I was the last person too. <laughs> but if I posted on it that I was reading, I was actually listening to it on audio and it just started a conversation. All kinds of people came in talking about how this book touched them. One lady, she, uh, she, uh, Oh, I'm sorry, I don't speak that language. <laughs> she came in, and she's an author, and she um, is a teacher, and she said that she teaches this class on Kindred all the time. Her students love it, and I was saying how much I wish I could talk to Octavia and just discuss this book, and she was saying that her 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 students felt the same way. And that was getting conversations started, just just talking about a book gets conversations started. So if you're reading, like me, I read a book, um, I have a new book to read each month for my, my book club, and so I can talk about that. If you're reading different books, if you're a business owner and you're looking for books um, to help you with your business, this is a great topic to bring up. You can get some feedback from your, from your customers and different people and tell you about what books they're reading. Join in the conversation. Number four are articles. Um, everybody loves a good article. You know, if you, especially if you remember I was telling you about the Alicia Keys, that was an article. I read somewhere else, somebody posted it, and I shared it to my community. Um, so, and it started conversation of makeup. Everybody want to talk about makeup. You know, some people was for it, some people was against it. So, you know, but it, it started some conversations up. And so articles are a great way to do that. You can share your own articles that you wrote, or you can share other people's articles. I like to do both. I like to share a little bit, a mixture of both. Because I love sharing other people's content, and hopefully one day they'll share my content. So, uh, number five is videos. Okay, as you know, videos are the new thing. Everybody's doing videos. Everybody loves uh, YouTube. They're on there. They're doing different things. And so, if you have videos in your marketing, videos are a great way to do engagement. You can post the video, and then you can ask a question underneath the video to get people to talk. If you don't have your own videos, again, you can share someone else's videos. When, before I started doing videos, I used to share uh, writing videos. I would find writers who do art, um, videos on write, the art of writing or the business of writing, and I would share their videos, and then I would ask questions, and we would talk, you know, my readership would talk about these videos and what they thought about it. And my next one is uh, tip is six pictures. Pictures are something that I started doing um, a couple of years ago. I heard that it, people love graphics, people, people love visuals, and it's a great way to get engaged in it. And it is. You can post, like I said, you can post a picture right now. We're, 
uh, mourning the death of Muhammad Ali. And people are posting all their pictures of Muhammad. And one lady said that she was just thrilled by how many people had actually met him and have pictures of him. And so in my Facebook feed, it was just amazing to see so many people posting pictures. Well, I never had the pleasure of meeting him, but it's just neat to see other people who have you know, met him in his, in his whole life and in different stages of his life. People met him and they were sure sharing the pictures. You know, they say a picture is a thousand words and everybody... Every picture I saw had lots of engagement underneath it because people just wanted to talk about Muhammad and what he meant to them. And so you can do the same thing with your pictures. Like last week, uh, the hot topic was roots. And I, I, I missed out on roots because I didn't look at it. I taped it. I wanted to do a binge on it, so I waited on it. And so I was the hot topic the next week. <laughs> and so I wanted to talk about roots and uh, how much it meant to me and how much I enjoyed it. And then I want, I have remembered that I visited Alex Haley's home. And so I took some pic, I had taken pictures there. So I shared those pictures again on my Facebook and uh, Instagram to share people about my experience, my roots experience. And so you can do the same thing. If you had experience with something, you can share that through your pictures and get conversations. You know, so I told someone about that I went to Alex Haley's home and just so happens it was during a time when it was very slow at the museum and we got a private tour. My family and I got a private tour of the museum, which we probably wouldn't have gotten if it was a full, you know, full load of people. We got to ask, ask the, you know, the, the, the museum host questions and talk to them, and they shared stuff that they normally didn't share during the tour, so we thought, the kids thought it was amazing to meet this man who wrote Roots, and meet, well, meet him, meet him, per se, as, you know, in his hometown and everything, so that was great. Number seven, um, is be the expert. I tell my clients this all the time. I, I tell you about 15 minutes. You can take 15 minutes and become the expert in any group that you're in. I love groups because this is the way to showcase who you are. You know, if you're a writer, you want you can go in there and talk about writing. You can talk about the problems of writing. You can talk about the problems of selling a book. You know, you are the expert because you have a book. You've got something to talk about. People think that because you got a book, you know everything. <laughs> You probably don't, but it's a good way to, to talk to other people, network with them, and ask, let them ask you questions. Or if somebody has a question in there and you know the answer, go in there and answer it. Today I was in a group and a lady wanted to know about posting a picture to her website. You know, and so I explained what I knew about what you know, of posting the picture was. And I didn't have to do that, but I, I like to help people if I can, and so that's what I did. So you can be that expert. Go in there and showcase what you know about your subject that you're talking about. Um, number eight, make comments. Okay? Now, I've talk, uh, this year I have talked about being the social butterfly. I want you to be the social butterfly, not going in there um, making likes. We're not being the we're not being the fly on the wall this year. We're all about being in the conversation. You can't be in the conversation clicking likes. You got to go in there and talk. You got to go in there and ask questions. You got to go in there and make comments. If you are in groups and you're you are in a whole bunch of groups and you're not seeing anything, nobody knows you exist. Nobody knows you're there. It's, believe me, there's a whole bunch of people who will hog the groups up because they want to everybody know they're there. You don't have to be that person, but you can come in and give your your little tidbits. You can come in and give your, uh, give your information that you know. You can share your articles. You can share your graphics. You can share your books. You know, this is the place to do that. This is how you get engagement. I can't talk to you if you don't come in here and say anything. If you come in and you just like all my, my posts, that doesn't help. I, liking is great if you just come in and drive by and keep it moving. But if you're trying to make connections, you're trying to engage with other people, you have to make some comments. You gotta say, hey, I am here at the party. Hello, how you doing? What's going on? Tell me what's going on with you. How are you doing? You know, so be the, the but social butterfly. Go in there and get some conversation started. Number nine is live streaming. What I'm doing right here, live streaming. Um, somebody asked me a couple of years ago, would I be live streaming? I probably wouldn't even know what it was called. Uh, you know, I was trying to get into videos, and I was scared to death to do it. Now I'm getting a little better at it. As you know, I've been on a hiatus, and I'm back, little, trying to get some stuff back in here. But I, what I love about live live streaming is the engagement. You know, even though you're on on a Periscope, people still can talk to you. They can make comments in the comments boxes, and you can answer their questions. You can talk to them. 
I can share like I'm doing now. I'm sharing with you. And so that's what I love about live streaming is that you can you can get the engagement that you're looking for and talking to your customers, you know, and doing different events. Um, you know, like me today, I'm sharing information about engagement. Um, you might have something you want to share. Maybe you want to talk about your book, my book, Building Online Relationships. I could come in here and take it chapter by chapter if I wanted to, you know. And so that's what you do in live streaming. It's something great. It's fun. You can learn things. You can connect with things. So you don't want to get in front of the camera. You don't have to. With Periscope, you don't have to. You can just become the guest and come and listen to me talk. You can go and listen to someone else talk. And then you guess what? What I said about, I don't want you to be the fly on the, on the wall. We want to be the social butterfly. This is when you ask the questions. You are the person that's answering the questions of the host and trying to learn from them and, you know, getting to know them, getting in contact. I've made so many connections because of live streaming with different people. And so you can do the same thing. All right, all right, so those are some suggestions to get you started, to get you out there, to get you into engagement, you know, um, to be a part of the conversation. That's what engagement is all about, being a part of the conversation. You either can start it or you can be a part of it. So you choose which way you want to do. And like I said, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. I don't want you to be the drive-by promoter. You know that person who drops their information and keeps it moving? You don't want to be that person. I want you to engage. So if you drop something down in the morning, come back in the afternoon and check it out and see how it's going. Did anybody make any comments? Did anybody ask you any questions? You know, some people will not make comments if they know you're not going to come back and respond. You know, but if they know, hey, she drops stuff in the morning, she'll be back when she get off at 4, check me out, let me put my questions in there. I, you know, do that. You can come back and go, oh, my God, that, that question really got people talking. I wouldn't have never thought that. And so those are the things that you want to see. And ch change it up. If you don't get up, so you post something today and nobody says anything, nobody commented, nobody liked it, ask a different question. You know, uh, don't ask yes and no questions. That's what gets you. You have to ask a question that's going to get them to talk to you. You know, do you like going to webinars? Yes. What is it that you like about webinars? That's the question you ask. Because you want them to respond to it. Do you like promotion? Most people say no. What is it that, give me three things that you hate about promotion. Bam, I'm going to get some conversation going. What is it that you like about blogging? You know, ask questions that's going to give you some answers. If you ask some questions that's just going to sit there, it's going to sit there, you know. So I want you to come back 15 minutes each day and check out your stuff that you're posting and see if you're getting any type of engagement. And if you're not getting any engagement, again, like I said, rethink it. Use some of the suggestions that I gave above. I'm going to give, go over them one more time so you know. One, I want you to... Nope, I'm going to step over Hold on. <laughs> One, you want to ask questions. Get some questions going. Two, maybe post some motiva motivational quotes. Or maybe you have some posts, post some quotes about you. You know, talk about what's going on in your life. Um, three, books. Books are great topics to talk about. Four, articles. Do some articles. Five, share some articles, rather. Five, videos. Share some videos. Your videos or someone else's videos. Pictures, the pictures are, like I said, are the greatest way to get some engagement because you don't have to say anything. Like I said, everybody was posting the Muhammad Ali pictures. They didn't have the same thing. They just said, this is me and Muhammad. Bam, that's it. And you're going to go, what was it? What happened? What did you, how did you meet him? You know, people are going to ask their questions because they want to know. Number seven, be the expert. I'm the expert on book promotion. So, yes, I'm going to talk about book promotion. I'm going to come into your group and talk about book promotion. Like I said, on Mondays, I share um, a marketing tip to the groups that I'm in. That's a great way to be the expert. You know, number eight, make comments. Be the social butterfly this year. Don't be the fly on the wall. Talk to people. Ask questions. Give feedback. You know, don't be the person that's at the party sitting on the couch. Be the person that's jamming all night long. That's you. Number nine, live streaming. Live streaming, periscoping, Facebook Live. Get out there and get in front of people and see what's going on with them. Engage them. And if you don't want to get in front of the camera, stay behind the camera and talk to the people on this live stream. You are the audience. Be the best audience you can be. You can't be an audience by being quiet. You got to talk. You got to ask some questions. Let people know you're in the room. 
Okay, so those are my tips for tonight. I am so happy to be back on Periscope. I missed it. I missed you guys. I'm thankful that you came in and chat with me for a little while. Um, I'm all about, you know, building relationships. I'm all about being a social butterfly. If you could do daily tips every day, would you like some? I have a freebie for you. It's called the 31 Daily Promotion Tips. It's every day for 31 days, you get promotion tips from me, different little ideas to get you out there to start promoting your book. If you're having a hard time promoting your book, you need some fresh ideas, this is the opt-in to get. So you get 31 days of tips from me. Each day I send you something different to do. And you get out there and start promoting your book. So this is the link to it. Let me turn up the other way to see if you can see it. Okay. It's bit.ly slash 1-A-M-H-R-W-Q. That's it. That's the little bitly thing. Check it out. Do a, a screenshot. And if you haven't signed up for it, I welcome you to come and sign up. It's free. 31 days of tips. If you need some more help with your promotion, you know, some one-on-one -on -one stuff, I do promotion coaching. I have a virtual team with you. We can sit down and work on your promotion problems, your challenges that you're having with promotions, and get you some clarity on how to get yourself out there and promote your book. It's a freebie that I do. You can go to my site at LashondaHoffman.com and check it out. Um, I don't want you to do promotion by yourself. You can get your promotion help. You know, and if you want to join my Facebook group, it's called See You on the Net Promotion. You learn how to promote your book or your business. We welcome you. It's a free a group, but you got to get permission to get in. You know, so your face, you know, put go on Facebook and find us and, and submit yourself in, and we'll put you on there. Um, this is Lashonda Hoffman. For those who came in late, uh, please listen to the replay. P pass it on to other people who need some help in promotion. Um, thank you. If you have any questions, you can send me send me a send me a um, a tweet and ask your questions that way. I definitely will answer them. This is my son, Sean Hoffman. He likes to jump on the scope every now and then. Okay. Um, I am here to help you with your promotion. If you want to, download my book, Building Online Relationships, and you can get started promoting today. It's not that uh, hard to promote, but you have to get out there and do it. 15 minutes each day. So thank you again, my social butterflies, for stopping in today. I am LaShonda Hoffman again. And if you have, if you haven't promoted your book today, I want you to pop off of this scope and go promote your book. And I will see you on the